Hello, I'm Dan. This is my garage and these are my songs. Episode one, track one, The New World. We're talking about a song which is essentially about what happens next after something dramatic or big. My last album, Storm from 2016, was essentially a concept album about a person who is in total chaos. Emotionally, logistically, existentially, all, all that jazz. So this one is kind of an, an unofficial sequel to that, at least conceptually, because it's about, well, what happens next? After the waves have died down and the storm is blown away and you wake up and you're, metaphorically, you're on a beach, a strange continent, you don't know where you are, you don't really know exactly what kind of person that you are, but we get to choose is that how to look at life is that going to be a scary thing or is that going to be an exciting thing i think for most of us it's probably both right and sometimes the the silver lining of a to of a total cataclysmic event can give us the opportunity to remake ourselves uh to be more of the person that we want to be our ideal self this song is about a person who's kind of uncertain about that it's a little bit scary you know what what, what kind of person am i going to be who is this man I've become? This this evolution I've begun, right? That's those, that's the lines of the song. That's kind of where it, that's that was the headspace that I was at when I came up with it. Actually, the, the title "The New World" was the first thing I wrote for the whole album. Like, it was like a couple years ago when I came up with it, and I had this title and I had like the first few lines and that was it. Before anything else was written, musically, I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out. Fans of symphonic music may be interested to know I stole the intro chords, the little fade-in parts, uh, from Dvorak's New World Symphony, because, you know, why not? <laughs> it's where I came up with the, the title of the, the album. What I liked about that intro was that these chords, it's like, it's like four or five chords, you're not really sure where they're going to resolve. Is it going to like lead to some sort of major note, or is it going to go to a minor note? You don't really know, and I think that, in my head, that seems like a cool metaphor for the duality of, of the new world, right? Is it, is it good or bad or both? One of the things I did on this album was to write a lot of the choruses first, in the sense that if I came up with the idea for a song, maybe a riff or something, a lot of guitar players will just take a riff and then just start at the beginning of the song, the intro, and then just work our way all the way through it to the end. I tried something different where I came up with, I would have an idea for a chorus and I go, okay, let me nail down how this chorus is gonna sound, what's the rhythm, you know, how do the lyrics go, what range, what key am I in, how does, where does the melody go? And then once I get that nailed down, I'm like, okay, well, this is where the song's gonna end up. You know, it's like writing a story. You don't just, if you're writing a novel, I guess, I've never written a novel, but if you start at the beginning and you just kind of say, and then this happens, and then this happens, you don't really get the chance to develop themes or, right, or, or and, and, and foreshadowing and, and, and stuff like that and symbolism. You make an outline of the story and you know, all right, well, this character's gonna end up here and this character's gonna end up here and this is how it's all, how it's all gonna tie together. Then you, that can inform how you get there. So that was my songwriting process for much of this album. If you look at the choruses of a song as kind of the high points, like the, the tent poles holding up the tent, you know, you get those things first and then everything else kind of gets fitted around. So I tried to make this uh, a, a catchy and ear-grabbing intro, uh, and it kind of sets a tone. It's not overly heavy and dark, but it's also not bright and cheery either. You know, the, this album, I think, has its ups and downs. It's got nice major moments and some pretty dark minor no moments. That's kind of where it, where it came through, and I think it leads really nicely into the next song, which I'll talk about tomorrow.